Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, welcome to a daily dose of joy. <clears throat> we are here. Mm. Mm, to start our day with joyful habits. These little micro dosing tools, habits of joy that also optimize the positive neurochemistry in our brain. They're leveraging neuroscience. It's layered, but the outcome is a more joyful life, a bias towards joy, a more balanced life. A life where we don't get hooked into the negative momentum as easily or stuck in it. Ah. And also though a life that is full, full of the whole panoply of human emotions. So yesterday I missed posting a video and I think it was the first time ever in almost two years or maybe a little over two years. Can't really remember, <laughs> but I, just decided it was okay and good to mirror and model that I can do it every day and there could be some exceptions. Um, last night, we went out of town for uh, the memorial service for an, uh, an older member of our family. It was a, a celebration of life and an appropriate transition um, and full of the, all the human experiences. It was also a huge gift to be with generations of my family and see how much we value joy. And through hardship and adversity and triumph and celebration, that there is a um, seeking joy and looking for joy. It felt so good to see that mirrored in the faces around me. It was really wonderful. Really, really wonderful. Such a gift. So I'm really basking in that. Basking in the tradition of joy and wanting to extend that tradition of authentic joy, of being one of those people that share their light authentically, not from any pretense or supposed to or artifice, but genuinely they are noticing the best in others and noticing the best in themselves and mm, finding all the little beauties to bask in. So many things about the wonderful habits we have are potentially like ingraining these traditions, not only for ourselves, but for the people around us and for our children, if we have children or our friends. Mm. So I'm just celebrating that with y'all and grateful, so grateful, grateful for my family, grateful for this community grateful for a daily dose of joy and the positive joy-seeking solidarity, appreciative of the neuroscience and the understanding that allows me to value and see the worth in creating and practicing these habits in my life. Mm. I'm also celebrating today that my son's about to turn 15. He's about to turn 15. And so I filled his backpack with little Snickers bars and a little note says happy birthday so that he can share Snickers bars with his friends all day long in high school. <laughs> you know, they don't do like a birthday party like they did as a kid, but I figured that's okay. <laughs> I'll pack the party with you. <laughs> so that'll be a surprise for him this morning that I'm looking forward to. Mm. So I hope you can feel the love and joy. Let your mirror neurons just bask in that. 
And let's continue this on. I, I had a different direction I was going in, but I think this has turned into a deeper truth and um, deeper truth of looking at what I appreciate. But I'll slow it down into a, a really milking the full deeper truth of making the statement and pausing and breathing and feeling. I should have let that feeling just saturate my body. Okay. So a little message in a bottle back to me when I was sitting on the shore that felt very dark. And I'm sending a message back to myself saying, you are never alone. You never were. You belong to yourself. You belong to something greater than yourself. You are never alone. You never were. It's okay. It's okay to feel sadness and fear or to believe in this moment that you're alone. That's all okay. And trust me, let me have faith for the both of us that those feelings will pass. The bigger, deeper truth of the love that's flowing over you one day will dominate. I 